Now we will be discussing other points, other usefulness of bacteria in journal we will be talking about. Uh, bacteria are useful for us in various ways, you talk about the dairy products, if you talk about the curd, cheese, bacteria are useful, bacteria are working upon them. In leather industry, in uh, making ropes uh, for the digestion of the food in the uh, intestine. So, we are going to talk about the usefulness of the bacteria and in general we are talking about the usefulness. Uh, under like here I am not putting any kind of heading now. So, first of all bacteria is like mycoderma acetyl, mycoderma acetyl. Now, this bacteria are these kind of bacteria are useful for making acetic acid, acetic acid and other industrial products also. So, mycoderma acetyl is useful in making acetic acid. Second, for a roting of, okay, I am not writing any heading over here. So, roting of flag, flex, jute, that means the fiber, the roting of fiber and after that, which uh, what is being made from this, we all know the rope is being made. So, for even making rope also bacteria are helping us, bacteria are useful for us. Now, when we talk about the third point and see first one is mycoderma acetyl which is responsible for the conversion or, or the making the formation of certain uh, industrial products. Uh, may we talk about the acetic acid. Now, second is uh, rotne, roting of flex and jute certain fibers and then out of that the ropes are being made and third is curing and ripening. Of tea, actually uh, bacteria work upon the leaves of the uh, tea and certain uh, particular that, that characteristic feature that aroma of the tea is produced, the different flavors uh, are produced. You know all this depends upon the variety of the tea leaves also and the species of the bacteria which are working on the leaves also. So, the quality depends upon the like it depends upon both the things the leaves the quality of the tea leaves also and the species of the bacteria also. So, uh, we are in general discussing the uses of the bacteria. Now, fourth is tanning of leather. In leather industry also bacteria are very very useful. If we talk about in other use then remember E. coli. Now E. coli is present in intestine, it is present and in intestine and it produces this E. coli, Escherichia coli is a bacteria which is present in the intestine and it produces certain vitamins ok complex or I will write just vitamins. Now, this vitamins are helpful in digestion. E. coli is responsible for the proper digestion as these are present in the intestine. Now, there are certain other bacteria if we talk about the 
animals herbivores actually in herbivores herbivores in herbivores certain bacteria are present these bacteria i am talking about na herbivores in the intestine of the herbivores certain bacteria are present and these bacteria are responsible for the secretion of certain enzymes these secrete certain enzymes this enzyme work upon cellulose and thus helps in digestion this is all about the usefulness of the bacteria bacteria are used in industry to make certain products like acetic acid i have given only example of acetic acid but there are various industrial products which are uh, made uh, with the help of the bacteria if we talk about the uh, alcohol acetone yes so even you can write that even the alcohol and acetone see alcohol as soon as the word alcohol comes we all know yeast releases the alcohol which is not in this group but there are certain bacteria definitely there will be difference in the quality and the uh, you know the uh, the alcohol will be different but certain chemicals are formed certain bacteria are responsible for making alcohol as well as acetones also we are discussing useful bacteria certain bacteria like mycoderma acetai are responsible for making acetic acid it is the bacteria is also used in uh, roting of the flax flax jute that means the fibers and from this the rope is being made it is also used in the curing and wrapping of the as i told that the characteristic feature of the uh, tea is due to the working of the bacteria certain aroma certain you know flavor is being uh, produced in the uh, this curing of or uh, wrapping of the tea that means it is used in the tea uh, industry also now telling of leather uh tea industry means the production of tea i'm talking about then e coli is present in the intestine which is responsible uh, for producing certain vitamins which is responsible for the proper digestion if we talk about the herbivores if we are talking about the herbivores animals then what is there in the intestine again certain bacteria are present these bacteria secrete certain kind of enzyme the this enzyme works upon the cellulose and thus the cellulose get digested so the these all are the useful aspect of the bacteria now enough with the useful part now we'll talk about the harmful part of the bacteria so please note this and then we will be discussing harmful part of the bacteria we have discussed useful bacteria and now we are going to discuss harmful bacteria so i will be writing over here harmful bacteria now when we talk about harmful bacteria what bacteria are doing they are working in the same manner they are decomposing the things they are dividing the things they are converting the organic substances into the simpler one but the same thing is useful for us when they uh, when they do uh, this with the sewage when they when the microorganism when the bacteria attack sewage it is very very useful for us when bacteria work upon the dead plants and animals it is very useful for us but when the bacteria act upon milk fruits 
vegetables that means food items then it becomes very very destructive it is not at all uh, want like we do not want our food to be spoiled and that is the case bacteria are responsible for spoiling foods like vegetables uh, fruits and the souring of milk also what is that uh, you might have observed that your mother boils the milk and not only once maybe twice or thrice and in summer especially more it ha the milk has to be boiled again and again or it has to be kept in the fridge or maybe in the water you know it has to be uh, kept in a cooler place why is it so because we want to prevent milk from the attack of the bacteria or souring of milk we want to prevent so first point souring of milk and even when the bacteria spoil what does they spoil food items like vegetables and fruits vegetables and fruits are spoiled by the bacteria and we do not want that that is a reason we keep them in the cooler place that also we are going to study under the heading of preservation of food but at present we are talking about the harmful activities of the bacteria so the biggest harm is what the souring of milk let me say spoiling of food items and now sometimes this spoiling doesn't just remains to the spoiling food is spoiled okay we will throw it but many a times this spoiling increases to a limit that the food if it is consumed by mistake then it becomes very it is it becomes poisonous and it is very very dangerous for the animals or the plants whosoever consume the particular food and this food poisoning generally happens with the sealed food the food which comes in the tin containers actually it is not a thing that the precautions are not been taken by the manufacturers not at all the manufacturers take all the precautions the food is uh, cooked whatever food is it depends upon the food what is what food item is and then it is uh, sealed in the tin which is or uh, the containers which are already made free of the microorganism but sometimes the bacteria they uh, start you know they uh, appear there they are there and they multiply very fast we all know that bacteria multiply rapidly very vigorously and due to the rapid growth of the uh, bacteria due to the you know n number of bacteria which are present inside that teen food they start attacking they start dividing decaying uh, uh, i should say putrefaction of the food starts and what happens you know the gas get collected in that teen because we are not opening that and when we open the gas comes out it gushes out with the pressure that food should never be consumed that food should never be consumed that is the reason you know it is told always that if the cane food if you are using and if it is opened once then you have to finish it very fast or else it has to be kept in the uh, freeze or freezer depending upon the food items so you have to be very very particular and careful when you take when you consume or when you eat teen or cane food it is sealed all the precautions are done but when you open then the air penetrates when then the then the air goes into that and sometimes if you put the wet spoon in something like that then the bacteria get chance to multiply and then the real problem begins so we should write over here food poisoning
which is very very dangerous and here the bacteria which are responsible there are many bacteria which are responsible for food poisoning but the there are certain bacteria which are specially known for this is one of those I can write over here is staphylococci. So, Cephalococca is one of the bacteria which is very very dangerous and it creates food poisoning and especially remember in the teen or the cane food. So, if you consume cane or teen food there is no harm in eating but be careful that when you open it once then it has to be taken care of. Now, third is what is again the harmful effect of the bacteria bacteria are responsible for many 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 diseases yes talk about leprosy diphtheria uh, tuberculosis and you know all these diseases are due to the bacteria so i should write and not only in the human beings bacteria cause diseases even in the plants and in the animals when we talk about the plants the, uh, the citrus family the canker the citrus canker is a disease which is very very common in the citrus family. What is the meaning of citrus family? Citrus means all uh, sour uh, things you know like maybe avla maybe lemon uh, sweet lime oranges. So, bacteria is not only responsible for giving uh, or creating or you know certain diseases in the human beings, but they also spread diseases in plants and animals. When we talk about plants there are many diseases uh, which are being spread by the bacteria. So, uh, just I will write this bacteria are are responsible for the diseases like uh, tuberculosis leprosy there is no place to write now, but uh, diphtheria, pneumonia, I will write over here, pneumonia, diphtheria uh, and uh, cholera etc. These all diseases are caused due to the bacteria. If we talk about the disease in the plants just now I told that the bacteria are responsible for the spread of diseases in plants as well as animals. If we talk about animals then in animals this one is in human beings, this one is in humans. If we talk about animals then tuberculosis is very very common and even anthrax you know it is also very common. Anthrax is also very common in few animals and anthrax uh, tuberculosis symptoms we all know anthrax give rise to swelling of certain body parts ok swelling of certain body parts. swelling of body parts and low yield of milk. That means the milk giving capacity of that particular animal get decreased and the body a particular body organ also get swollen. When we talk about plants when we talk about plants, in plants 
also the bacteria are responsible for various diseases especially if we talk about in citrus family the citrus canker is very very common so these all are the harmful aspects of the bacteria we know bacteria are very very useful see every part has got certain useful and the unuseful uh, you know the parts uh, everything good and bad aspects are there so we have discussed both in bacteria if we talk about harmful if we have to just out so it is responsible for the souring of milk milk spoiling of food items it it give rise to certain diseases in humans in animals in plants also it also uh, bacteria are also responsible for the food poisoning and if you talk about diseases certain diseases are really you know uh, very very uh, dangerous and uh, we talk about the human beings also okay so these are the certain points certain harmful aspects of the bacteria we have discussed everything about the bacteria we started this lesson with the microorganism what are microorganism minute structures which cannot be seen by the open eyes microbiologist the one who studies and micro uh, biology the study of the microbes or after that we read that microorganism can be divided into certain groups out of that we have completed bacteria today in bacteria we studied about the uh, you know the general structure of the bacteria the uh, cell structure of the bacteria characteristic feature of the bacteria why the bacteria are not plants because it does not has chlorophyll and the mode of nutrition is heterotrophic or parasitic heterotrophic in heterotrophic obviously parasitic or uh, parasitic or some other maybe uh, some uh, oh, this has to be cut so the mode of nutrition is heterotrophic now if we uh, go further then after that we also have this we have also discussed about the reproduction in bacteria and the types of bacteria uh, some may be uh, some may live in the colonies and same some may live alone some may in clusters we have discussed that also then after that we have also discussed how uh, bacteria are useful for us and how they are harmful for us and a small point about respiration also we have discussed that few are anaerobic and few are aerobic bacteria now we will be discussing about the next group and that is fungus so now we will be discussing about the fungus please note this and so that i can continue with the next uh, group of the microorganism that is fungus thank you